We continue now at the top of Daf Samech Beis Amid Beis Meseches Ksubis. This is Ksubis Daf sixty two B. The Gemara here continues, and Abaye explains Akula when the Mishnah, when Beis Hilla says in the Mishnah that if a person makes a neder to abstain from having relations with his wife for a week, so then we say he has to divorce her and give her the Ksuba. That's going on all the cases in the Mishnah. Rashi over here says Akula Nami Kamar Dal Yidei Neder Yeser Mishabes Achas Lo. If he makes a neder for more than one week, so then it's going to be a problem, and he has to divorce and give the Ksuba. And the Gemara asks, How could that be? Vashisha Chadashim but we, we talked about the fact that some of these individuals, let's say the sailor, he's not obligated only once every six months. As Rashi says, By Safanim, the only initial obligation is six months. So how could it be that just with over one week, then suddenly that's an offense, and the person is going to have to divorce the wife and give the ksuba just for saying a neder of abstaining for one week? And to that, the Gemara answers, You can't compare somebody who has bread in the basket, in his basket, to somebody who does not have have bread in his basket. Rashi over here explains, Let's say somebody's fasting, but if he has bread available to him, it's not as bad as if he has no food at all available. So to over here, if there was no neder, if the husband didn't make an oath to abstain, so she's more uh, she's more pleased with the situation with her husband. Because maybe he will come back within an earlier amount of time. But if you have a situation like this over here, where there was a neder made, so then it's already She's not even looking forward to her husband possibly arriving, and that's even worse. And the Gemara continues, Amar le Rabba bar Rav Hanan le Abaya, Rabba bar Rav Hanan said to Abaya, Chamor v'nasa gomal mai, what if he originally was a donkey driver, and then he becomes a camel driver? Rashi here explains, Chamor v'nasa gomal mai, nisis lo kishuhu chamor, let's say she married him, and he was a donkey driver, ma'u le'yosas gomal shalob b'rishos, is he allowed to become a camel driver, now he's going to be with her less, and not have permission, and not have her permission. Harvocha adifo lo is it, does she prefer the money, she wants to become wealthy and have the higher income. Oh, Ona Difalar, does she, does she prefer the owner? Does she prefer that her husband is with her? And so the Gemara answers Amarle, said to him, A woman would prefer to have one kav and be able to be with her husband rather than having more money, ten kavin, and being separated from her husband. Rashi says, lios bala ima, She wants her husband to be with her. Lisasha, rather than having ten kavin becoming wealthy and not being with her husband. And so therefore, in this situation, he would need to get permission from her in order to become a camel driver. And the Gemara continues at the two dots. The Mishnah said, Hasafonim by the sailors, Achas Lashisha Chadashim. It's once every six months. Divrei Rabbi Eliezer. That's the opinion of Rabbi Eliezer. Amar of Bruna, Rav Bruna says, Amar Rav, the Rav says, Halachik Rabbi Eliezer. The Halach is like Rabbi Eliezer. Rashi over here says, Divrei Rabbi Eliezer, Amasnis and Koi. We're going on the whole Mishnah. Besefer the Masnis and Nakar. We're just choosing the end of the Mishnah. But again, we're going on the entire Mishnah. And again, Rav Bruna says, the Rav says, Halachik Rabbi Eliezer. The Halach is like Rabbi Eliezer. Amar Rav Adabar Rav, Amar Rav. Rav Adabar Rav says, the Rav says, Zu Divrei Rabbi Eliezer. This is the opinion of Rabbi Eliezer. Rashi says, Zu Divrei Rabbi Eliezer, Hanach Onos Vietzios Shalob Rishos de Maznisen. We're talking about the different amounts of times. Let's say you don't get permission in the Mishnah. The Katani HaTalmidim Yotzim, L'Tal Metora Shalob Rishos Shloshim Yom. It said that those who are going out to learn Torah, they can go for 30 days. So that's the opinion of Rabbi Eliezer, that the Talmidim can go for 30 days. Zu Divrei Rabbi Eliezer. Avol Chachamim Omer, but the Chachamim say, HaTalmidim Yotzim, L'Tal Metora, Beis Vigimol Shonim Shalob Rishos. The Talmidim them are even allowed to leave to learn Torah for two or three years without getting permission. Amar Rava Rava says, Samchu Rabbonan ad Ravada Barava. The Rabbonan, they rely in our generation on this ruling of Ravada Barava. Rashi over here says, Talmidim Shebedoreinu Somchum al Devarav. The Talmidim in our generation rely on his words, Viyotz and Shalom Rishos, and they leave for extended periods of time without getting permission. And the Gemara continues, Ve'avdi uvda bin Afshayu, and they do this themselves. Rashi over here says, Bin Afshayu, Ve'avdi uvda kivase, they follow him bin Afshayu, Vubolem lito mem nefashos, Shenanashem emesim, because they rely on this, they're actually punished for it, they're even punished, they even pay with their lives. Ve'avdi uvda bin Afshayu, Kihad Rav Rechume, it's like the story with Rav Rechume, Havashriach kamei de Rav, he would frequently learn in front of Rav, Bemechuz and Mechuza, Havarog el Davi Yossi Levesi, Kalmala Yomad Kipure, he used to come back 
Mekom every year of Yom Kippur. Yom Echad, one day, Moshchos Hashemayit, he was drawn into his learning. Have a Mesachia Devisu Hashdoasi Hashdoasi, and his wife was looking forward to him coming. Now he's going to come. Now he's going to come. And Lo Asan, he didn't come. So Cholash Daita, so she became depressed. And Achis Demasemayeno, a tear dropped from her eye. Have a Yosef Igra, and at that moment he was sitting on the roof. Ifchis Igra, me too, say, and the roof collapsed from under him. But Nach Nafshi, and he died. So you see, it's a dangerous thing that the person doesn't come home to his wife at the expected time. And the Gemara continues, When is the proper time for a Talmud Chacham to be with his wife? Amar Rav Yudah Mar Shmuel, Rav Yudah says that Shmuel says, Me'er of Shabbos, Le'er of Shabbos, it's from every Friday night, that is the appropriate time. Rashi over here says, Shehu Le'el Tanu Gushviso V'Anos Aguf, that's a night of pleasure, it's a night of relaxing, it's a night of deriving benefit to the body, and so therefore that's an appropriate time. And the Gemara continues, the Pasuk says, Asher Pirio Yiten Biito, the fruit will come in its proper time. Amr of Yehuda, Rav Yehuda says, Vitema Rav Huna, some people say Rav Huna says, Vitema Rav Nachman, some say it's Rav Nachman who says, Zamishamish Mitaso Meir of Shabbos, Lar of Shabbos, the fruit coming at the proper time, that's referring to somebody who has relations again every Friday night. And the Gemara continues, Yehuda Breid Rav Chia, Chasoni Rav Yana, Yehuda the son of Rav Chia, who was the son in law of Rav Yana, Havazel Viyasu Bevei Rav, he would learn in the study hall, Vichol Be Shimshi Havyasu Lebe. And then every Friday night he would come to his house and he would be with his wife. And when he would come, it was seen in front of him a pillar of fire. One day his learning drew him in and came in the Lochazia Husimon. And when Rav Yanai didn't see this sign, didn't see this pillar of fire, Amr Luhu Rav Yanai, Rav Yanai said to them, Kafu mitaso, turn over his bed. He must have died. Shalomala Yehuda Kayim, because if Yehuda was alive, Lobitel Onoso, he would not have missed this appointed time. It's like an error that went forth from the mouth of the king from before the ruler, and by saying that he had died, at that moment he actually did die. And the Gemara continues, Rebbe was making a wedding, was arranging a wedding for his son to marry the daughter of Rebchia, the house of Rebchia. Kimota lemichta of ksuba when they were writing the ksuba nach nafshe deravisa the girl she died at that time. Amar Rebbe Rebbe said chas v'shalom psula ika chas v'shalom is there some kind of psula over here something that's preventing this marriage from occurring? Yasivu va'ainu b'mishpacha so they sat and they investigated the lineage of the various families. Rebbe Yossi mishvatia ben Avital Rebbe he came from Shvatia the son of Avital. Rebbe Chiyossi mishimi yachi David and Rebbe he descended from Shimi the brother of David. Rashi over here explains. Maybe these two were not fit to be together. So he found that he came from Shvatia ben Avital, that's ben David. Shvatia is the son of David, ben David Hoya. Avital Sheimeshes David. Avital was the name of the wife of David. Rabbi Chia Asimi Shimi, and like we said, Rabbi Chia came from Shimi. Vizeu Absol, and this was the disqualification. Sherebi Hoya mi based David, because Rabbi was from the house of David. Velo Haisa Basa, but mi Shimi Hoganis Levna wasn't appropriate that a daughter who came from Shimi should be appropriate for his son, for the son of Rabbi. Shelo Haisa Basma because she was not the daughter of kings, and so that was the psul, that was the disqualification. And the Gemara continues, So then Rebbe went and he arranged a, a marriage for his son to a daughter from the house of Rebbe Yossi ben Zimra. And they arranged that he would learn for 12 years before the wedding. So then they passed her, they passed the girl in front of him. So then he changed his mind and he said to them, let it just be six years. Then they passed her in front of him again. He said to them, let me marry her first, and then I'll go, we'll have the wedding first, and then I'll go to learn. And then he was embarrassed from his father that he had changed his mind based on the fact that he saw the girl. But Amar Le, but his father said to him, Bini, my son, das koncha yesh bach, you have the same kind of thinking as your creator. Because what does it say about HaKadosh Baruch Hu? May Karaksiv, originally it says, Teviyemu v'sito emo. It says only when they get into Eretz Yisrael, when they take roots in Eretz Yisrael, then they'll build, they'll build the Beis HaMikdash and the Shechina will be with the with Klal Yisrael. Well, Vasov ksiv, but at the end, HaKadosh Baruch Hu changed his mind. At the end it says, Vyasu li mikdash v'shachanti b'socham, they should make for me a Beis HaMikdash, and I will dwell among them even in the Midbar, even in the wilderness. So Azal Yosef Tarti Sarishni, in any case he got married and then he went to learn for 12 years, Bevei Rav, in the study hall. Adosa, but by the time he came back, he akra the Visu, his wife became barren because of the many years being away from one another, she was not able to have children. 
So I'm a Rebbe. So Rebbe said, Hechi Navid, what should we do over here? Nigrasha, if he divorces her, Yomer, they're going to say, Aniya Zul, Ashav Shimra, this poor woman, this poor girl, she waited for nothing. Ninsev Itzachri, see, let's say he goes and marries another wife. Maybe he should take a second wife to have children with. Yomer, but then people will say, Zuishto, Vizuzo Naso, this one's his wife, and this one is his mistress. So Boya Larachami, so he davened about her, Vietzias, and she was healed. And the Gemara continues at the two dots, Rabbi Hananya ben Chachinoi, have a Koazil, Levei Rav, Bishili, Hilu. He was going to the study hall at the end of the wedding of Rabbi Shimon Bar Yochai. Amar Le Rabbi Shimon Bar Yochai said to him, Yaakov Li Adosi Vadach, wait for me and I want to come with you. Lo Yaakov Le, but he didn't wait for him. Azal Yosef Trey Sari Shni Bevei Rav, and he went and he learned for 12 years in the study hall. Adosim, by the time he came back, Ishtanu Shvila Damasa, all the roads of the city had, had changed. Velo Yadal, the Mezal Abesa, he didn't even know how to get back to his own house. So Azal Yosef Aguda Denara, so he went and he sat on the banks of the river. Shama Lahi Ravisa, and then he heard a certain young girl to have a Karu law that they were calling her, Bas Chachinoi, Bas Chachinoi, Malay Kulsach. They called her and they said, Daughter of Chachinoi, Daughter of Chachinoi, fill up your jug of water. Vetan Ezel and come. So Amari said, Shma Amino, Hai Ravisa Didon, we see that this young girl comes from us, it must be my daughter. So Azal Basra, so he went after her. Have Yasiva Divisu Kanalo Kimcha, his wife was sitting there and she was sifting the flour. Dolaino Chazise, she lifted her eyes and she saw him. Savi Liba, her heart fluttered, Parachrucha, and her spirit left her and she died because of the excitement of seeing him. Amar Lafan of Ribona Shalom, he said, Master of the world, Aniya Zuz, that's Sakhar, this poor woman, this is her reward. Boy Rachmi Allah, so he daven for her Vichaya and she lived. And the Gemara continues, Rabbi Chama Barbisa, Azal Yosef Tresari, Shani Bevei Midrash, Rabbi Chama Barbisa, he sat and learned 12 years in the base Medrash. Ki also, when he came, Amar, he said, Lo Avid Kido Avid Ben Chachinoi, I'm not going to do the same thing as Ben Chachinoi, I'm not going to surprise my wife when I return. Ayel Yosef in Midrash, so he sat in the local base Medrash, Shalach Levesi, and he sent a message to his house that he was back. Also, Rav Oshia in the mean, in the meantime, his son Rav Oshia came to the base Medrash. Yosef came and he sat in front of him, have a He was asking him halachas. Chazad to come is chadi shmaiti, and he saw that he was very sharp. Cholish daite. So then he became depressed, meaning Rabbi Chama Barbisa. He became depressed, and Omar and he said, "He havoi hachet. Had I stayed here, havali zeraki hai. My children would be as sharp as this kid over here." All levese. So then he went to his house. All bray, and then his son came to the same place to his house. Come came and he stood up before him because who saw. Because he thought that he was coming to ask him halachas kaboy. That's why he was coming to the house. In other words, he, he thought that his son was coming with him to the house to ask him an halacha. And he stood up in front of him because he was a Talmud Chacham. He didn't re- realize it was his son. So then, so then his wife said to him, Is there ever an example of a father that stands up in front of his son? Why are you standing up in front of your son? When Rami Barchama heard this, he said as follows, uh, Rami Barcham heard this. He said about the story as follows: Hachut Hamashulash Lobe Meheri Yunotek. When you have a string that is that is twisted three times, it's not gonna it's not gonna snap easily. And that refers to exactly this situation. Zerav Oshia Benosh Lerav Chami Barbisa. This refers to Rav Oshia, the son of Rav Chama Barbisa. In other words, he came from three great generations, and therefore that third great generation is strong, and that's why he became a great Talmud Chacham. And the Gemara continues: Rabbi Akiva Raya de Ben Kalba Savua. Rabbi Akiva, he was the shepherd of Ben Kalba Savua. Rashi says, Kalba Savua, Shem Echad Me Ashira Yerushalayim. This was the name of one of the wealthy people of Yerushalayim. Shakal Hanichnas Leveso Rav Kekelev, Hayayotse Save. Anyone who would enter his house who was famished would leave with, with plenty of food, satiated. So, have a Chazise Brate David Snio Mali. So, the daughter of Ben Kalba Savua saw that Rabbi Akiva was humble and he was a refined person. Amrle, she said to him, Mikachin Allah, if we, if we have Kedushin, if, you, if I'm betrothed to you, Azal Save Rav, will you go and will you stay? Study in the study hall. Amar lo in, he said to her, yes. Ikdashalei betzina, so privately they got, uh, they, they were betrothed. Veshadarte, and she sent them off. Shama avua, so her father heard that she did this. Afkam ibeisei, he drove her out of his house. Adra hanami nechse, and he said, he took a nether that she could not get any benefit from his property. Azal Yosef trey sari shnin bevei rav. In any case, Rabbi Akiva went 12 years and he learned in the study hall. Ki also, when he came, aisi bahadei trey sari alfi talmide, he brought with him 12,000 students. Shamei lehusav, and then he heard a certain elder to Kaamar Law, who was talking to her, to his wife, and he said to her, "At Kama, for how long are you going to carry this on? That you're going to be, uh, that you're going to be separated from your husband and let him learn?" And we'll continue with this discussion in the next video on Daf Samach Gimel Amid Aleph.